Hi, I'm Ann McLeod, Director of Exhibits and Registration for ASAE in the Center, and I'm here with Camelia Sanford from the Walter E. Washington Convention Center, who happened to be PCMA's 2006 Distinguished Convention Services Manager of the Year. Congratulations on that again, Thank Camelia. Thank you. So, Camelia, tell me, what are like your top tips to give to meeting planners to make sure that they have the best show possible in your convention center or any convention center? Well, one of the things that I'll start with, Anne, is making sure that the planner knows their space. Um, making sure that they plan site visits, um, familiarize themselves with the actual square footage of the space, um, collaborate with their convention service manager or their event manager, as we call, the, call it here at the Washington Convention Center, to make sure that what they're planning to put in the space will actually fit in the space. I can't tell you the number of times we've had planners to come on site, they maybe didn't have time for a site visit or didn't think it was necessary, and once they actually see the space built, it really does not fit their needs. So that would be one of the things. Um, another thing would be to plan ahead. Um, it takes an event manager or a convention services manager approximately Oh, four to six weeks to really, really get all of the information together that, um, well, I, I, I should say, translate your information into the documents that we use here at the convention center. So, you know, if you only give us two weeks, um, we're going to be under the gun. You're going to be anxious about seeing copies of meeting room diagrams. So, submitting your information in a timely fashion. Another thing is thinking about what is it, what, it, what do I know that my CSM should know? There's no such thing as too much information. Uh, I have customers ask me, well, why do you need to know what time I want the doors open? So that I can unlock them. <laughs> um, <laughs> seriously, there's no such thing as too much information. If the CSM doesn't need it, they'll put it to the side. And I guarantee you that something will happen either in preparation for your meeting or while you're on site where the CSM will have an occasion to use that information. So there's no such thing as too much information and there's no such thing as um, unimportant information. Everything is important, no matter how trivial uh, you, you may think it is. Right. Um, let's see what else. On-site communication is important. Um, we have a lot of customers that don't really think about how they're going to communicate with their CSM once they're on site. They're used to using cell phones, they're used to communicating via email. Um, everywhere, uh, all convention centers don't have Blackberries for their CSM, so the, the email communication may not be a good option on site. So think about radio communication or net, uh, Nextel communication right. to, to, to use on site so that you can be sure to be in touch with your CSM and that person can be um, reached at a moment's notice and you can be reached at a moment's notice in case the CSM needs something from you. Right. Um, that sounds great. Patience. That's, uh. that's the last thing that I would say. <laughs> patience. Understanding that we've got 2.3 million square feet in this building, and if you're in Hall A and I'm in Hall C, that's three blocks from here. Um, or, or from, you, I'm three Between blocks from you, yeah. exactly. So, and not just, not just uh, on site, but, but again, in the planning process. Um, depending on when, when the information is, is submitted, make sure you give your CSM time to generate that information into whatever it is you require and what the building requires to make sure that um, you can have the most successful event possible. Right. Well, Camelia, I can see why you got that award. Well, thank thanks you. so much for sharing your tips. I'm Ann McLeod. Thanks for coming to Springtime. <laughs>